All right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and subscribe to get more challenges like this one. 3 minus 6 divided by 5 divided by 3. And the first thing I'm thinking of is PAMDAS working from left to right according to its levels. So 3 minus 6 will not go first because subtraction is a lower level than division. So 6 divided by 5 will go first, and I'll turn this into a fraction to make the math easy. And then bring down the division symbol down, and the 3 down, and then the minus symbol down, and the 3 down. And I want to turn the 3 into a fraction to make the math easy, knowing that 3 over 1 equals 3 does not change the 3. And the same goes here, 3 over 1. And now we have 3 over 1 minus 6 over 5 divided by 3 over 1. Now, reading from left to right, subtraction will not go first. It will be division. And we're going to use the keep change flip method where we keep the first fraction. We're, we're going to change the division symbol to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction. So the one will go on top of the fraction and the three will go at the bottom of the fraction. And then I'll bring down the three minus or three over one minus. And now we have this problem. Now, again, left to right, we start with multiplying six over five times one over three. So we just multiply across, it gives you six. 6 times 1 is 6, 5 times 3 is 15, and now we have 3 over 1 minus 6 over 15. And now we have two fractions that are unlike fractions. They're called unlike fractions because the denominators are different. And, and we need to find the new common denominator to solve this problem when subtracting two unlike fractions. So all you have to do is multiply 1 times 15, and that is 15, and I'll be your new common denominator, which is the product of the two denominators. And then we need a new numerator for the first fraction and a new numerator for the second fraction. And to do that, you just cross multiply. So 3 times 15 is 45 over 15 because that's that is the new denominator minus 6 times 1 is 6 so we have 6 over 15 and then you just subtract 45 minus 6 is 39 over 15 and that is your answer. It is a improper fraction. And let's turn it into a mixed number and then we'll get a decimal answer at the end. So we're going to use long division. So 39 will be your dividend. 15 will be your divisor. So how many times can 15 fit into 39? Two times. And then you multiply 2 times 15. That is 30. And then 39 minus 30 is 9. So your mixed number answer is 2 as the whole number, 9 as your remainder over your new denominator, 15. And there you go. That is your answer as a mixed number. And now let's get a decimal answer. So we'll just keep doing the long division. So can 15 fit into 9? You cannot, so you're going to have to borrow a zero so i added a decimal after the 39 and a decimal after the two here above the long division symbol and then we were to bring this zero down and now nine becomes 90. how many times can 15 fit into 90? six times and six times 15 equals 90 and 90 minus 90 is zero so your decimal answer is 2.6 and there you go, you have three different answers. You have 39 over 15, 2.6, and 2, 9 over 15. And there you go.